Hi, my name is Sarah Walker and my story is called Slake. I'm an Australian writer and Slake is set in the aftermath of large scale catastrophe. And it looks at the tensions that arise between individualism and collectivism when it comes to how we respond and be resilient in the wake of something terrible happening. I submitted it to this year's short story prize for two reasons. One was that it felt like it was dealing with certain forces that feel very present in the world right now as we navigate a very chaotic time and navigate how we care and who we care for and how we're connected in this notion of citizenry. I was also really interested in the Commonwealth Short Story Prize as, as a prize that connects writers across so many lived experiences with such broad types of writing across languages, across countries. I was really interested in being part of this outpouring of writing which connects people in this extraordinary kind of intangible idea of Commonwealth. It feels absolutely staggering to have been shortlisted out of so many entries. Um, I feel really quite overwhelmed and, and moved and proud. And I'm also really excited to read the other shortlisted works uh, from all these different parts of the globe. I'm really excited to see what we've come together to write in this last year. Telling stories is important because it's what we do as humans. I think it can be easy to forget uh, in this world that really prioritises productivity and labour, that writing is also a form of work and it's a work that engages the most human parts of us. In chaotic times, it's a narrative that helps us understand what has happened to us, what will happen to us, how we're connected to other people, how we can be empathetic to people with different life experiences to us. It is one of the most fundamental parts of our humanity. And in this extraordinarily chaotic time, it is a thing that ties us together more than ever before.